ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் நந்தினி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆ காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் திருச்செங்கோடு டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் டேட்டா பேஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு கீஸ் கீஸ் ப்ளே இன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரோல் இன் த ரிலேஷனல் டேட்டா பேஸ் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்டு டு யூனிக்யூலி ஐடென்டிஃபை எனி ரெக்கார்ட் ஆர் ரோ ஆஃப் த டேட்டா ஃப்ரம் த டேபிள் it is also used to establish and identify relationship between tables for example id is used as a key in the student table because it is unique for each student in the person table passport number license number ssn are keys since they are unique for each person types of keys primary key candidate key super key foreign key alternate key composite key artificial key primary key primary key is a column of a table or a set of columns that helps to identify every record present in the table uniquely there can be only one primary key in a table super key super key is the set of all the keys which help to identify rows in a table uniquely this means that all those columns of a table then capable of identifying the other columns of the table uniquely will all be considered super keys candidate key candidate keys are those attributes that uniquely identify rows of your table the primary key of your table is selected from one of the candidate key alternate key your table can have multiple choices for your primary key however it can choose only one so all the keys which did not become the primary key are called alternate keys foreign key foreign key is used to establish relationship between two tables foreign key will require each value in a column or set of columns to match the primary key of the referential table foreign key help to maintain data and referential integrity relational set operators relational set operators uses relational algebra to manipulate content in a database all together there are eight different types of operators this operators are sql commands select is the command to show all the rows in a table it can be used to select only specific data from the table that meets certain criteria this command is also referred to as the restrict command union it combines all of the rows in one table with all of the rows in another table except for the duplicate tuples the relay the tables are required to have the same attribute characteristics for the union command to work the tables must be union capitable which means that two tables being used have the same amount of columns and the columns have the same names and also need to share the same domain intersect is the second sql command that takes two tables and combines only the rows that appear in both tables the tables must be union capitable to be able to use the intersect command or else it will not work difference in the another sql command that gets all rows in one table that are not found in the other table basically it subtract one table from the another table to leave only the attributes that are not the same in both tables for this command to work both tables must be union capitable product command would show all possible pairs of rows from the both tables being used this command also be referred to as the cartesian product project is the command that gives all values of certain attribute specifics after the command it shows a vertical view of the given table join take two or more table and combines the into one table this can be used in combination with other commands to get specific information there are several type of join command the natural join equal join the etc entity relationship diagram in dbms er model stands for an entity relationship model it is a high level data model this model is used to define the data elements and relationship for a specified system it develops a conceptual design for the database it also develop a very simple and easy to design view of data in er modeling the database structure is a prot royal as a designed called an entity relationship diagram 
component of a ER diagram. Entity attribute relationship. Entity weak entity. Key attribute composite attribute. Multi-valued attribute. Derived attribute. Relations 1 to 1, 1 to many, many to 1, many to many. Entity. An entity may be any object, class, person or place. The ER diagram and entity can be represented as rectangles. Consider an organization as example, manager, product, employee, department and etc. can be taken as an entity. Attribute. The attribute is used to describe the property of an entity. Eclipse is used to represent an attribute. Relationship. and relationship is used to describe the relations between entities. Diamond or uh, robust is used to represent the relationship. Thank you.